Hello YouTube, this is Stefan from Rip City Base Works, and this is a tutorial on how to revert to the stock ROM on the Nexus 5X. So the first thing you're going to want to do is navigate to the websites I have linked in the description. For the first one, this is the uh, official Google site to download the stock files you need. So you're going to want to scroll down to the Nexus 5X bullhead, and then click whichever one you want. I'm just using the latest 8.1. And then you're going to want to navigate to the second link and download Platform Tools, which is somewhere in the middle, SDK Platform Tools for Windows, and accept the agreement and download it. And I already have them downloaded, so I just hit Cancel. And now you're going to want to extract Platform Tools and then extract this folder from the Google site. And you're going to want to navigate to it and copy or cut all the files and place them inside the platform tools folder. Okay, now you're going to want to go to your Nexus device. On whatever ROM you're currently on, you're going to want to make sure developer options are enabled. Mine already are. And to do that, you just hit the build number five times and then you go to developer options. and make sure that uh, that USB debugging is enabled and hit that allow notification and now you're going to want to plug in a USB cable and if it prompts you you have to hit yes to allow the computer otherwise you should be good to go and now you're going to want to open a command prompt window just CMD on Windows and you want to navigate to the folder that of platform tools you downloaded so just CD and then the directory. So you can just copy it from the top bar. And then you're going to run, run the command ADB devices. Make sure that one device and only one device shows up. And then you want to do ADB reboot bootloader. And just wait for that to reboot. Should take a couple seconds. And you should end up with that screen as she's seen on the right. Okay, now you're going to want to actually execute the uh, flashall.bat file. So you could try uh, double clicking it, but you're most likely going to get this uh, Windows security warning. So instead, you have to uh, go back to command prompt and type in the name of the file and then just hit enter. So flash all.bat. And once this uh, command is executed, it'll begin uh, flashing all of the files to it. So this will completely wipe your device. So make sure to save anything important off of it before you do this. And this is sped up substantially. And then it'll boot up here. You're going to want to power off the device. So just unplug the USB. And then once the device is powered off, you're going to want to hit the power button and volume down button at the same time. And it should boot back into the bootloader menu. And there you go. And now we want to, this is, this step is technically optional. This is relocking the bootloader in case you want to sell the device or you just want completely stock again. So this will also erase all data, so it's like double redundancy, I guess. And now you're going to want to do a fast boot flashing lock. And you're going to want to navigate to the directory again, obviously. This is just CD and the directory name. And then this is just running a check to make sure the device is recognized. So fast boot devices, if you want to do that. And fast boot flashing lock. And you're going to want to use the volume key to select yes and hit the power key for enter. Now it will erase and reboot. And that is about it. 